Hi, this is Nick from Dusky, and I'm Alfie. We just finished our set at Picnic, and we're hanging out with the DJ Mag crew from Canada. Woo! We played DJ for the first time here March. March, April time, yeah, Toronto. And it was cool, it was a really fun gig actually. It was cool, it was around like St. Patrick's Day time, so it's like everyone was in like, yeah, that kind of really boozy mode. It was good. <laughs> it felt everyone like was drinking hard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, it, it's, it's quite an unusual, it's quite an unusual one because it's like a daytime thing, but it's not a full-on festival. Normally, when we play daytime gigs, you it's in a big festival, so there's loads of other stuff going on. Like, it's quite unusual to have like a date, like a house music party, just one stage in the middle of the day, like in a park. Is this a park? Yeah. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> like, you don't really have anything like that in London. We've never played anything like it before, so yeah, it was, it was cool. No, but yeah. here people don't seem to care about the rains. So. Yeah, they loved it. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, when it's in started, the UK, it makes everyone really moody once when it starts raining. Yeah, everyone needs. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone seemed to be. Yeah, exactly. it was. Yeah, it was really fun. As soon as it started raining, people started whooping and cheering. But more lightning strikes and it's like, oh, <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> I was, I was working on some new music, so I guess I was only listening to that. I was going through a few kind of things we got on promo recently as well, just kind of listening to a bit more, um, checking out some new stuff. But, um, I didn't have a plug for some reason in my seat because I was on my, I tried to get extra leg room, so I got a bulkhead seat. I didn't have a plug, so I had like 20 minutes. I made an edit of a, a new Groove Armada tune and an old. Um, Larry Heard tune, which we always mix, but I was just like, I may as well make an edit. So that's what I was listening to for about 20 minutes until my laptop ran out of batteries. And then that was that. After that, I was just watching crap movies. <laughs> <laughs> you know, practice, I think, is the main thing. and. And then obviously practicing takes time, which is, I think a lot of it's kind of trying not to get bored while you're practicing, spending all the endless hours kind of, you know, in the studio. Um, I think, I don't know, we both had kind of different types of training and like studying and kind of, I think, you know, you do have to kind of geek out a bit, I think, on the production side and the musical side as well. So I definitely recommend that. <laughs> yeah, you can't really avoid it. Like, you need to put in the time, like, because anyone who's actually. Um, all the people that you look up to as like a producer or an artist as you're growing up or starting to learn how to make music, you know, they're really, really good at what they do. You don't actually realise the gulf between when you're starting out to the level they're at and you kind of think a lot of the stuff that you're doing, you're like, oh yeah, this is really good, but it's not. Do you know what I mean? You got, it takes a long time to have that, to develop that objectivity and be able to look at something you've done and be, decide whether it's actually good or not. So just spending a lot of time practicing and once you finally getting your music out there, just be nice to people and don't be don't be an arsehole. <laughs> it's not nice it's not nice meeting people who are just like, Oh yeah, I'm really I'm I'm amazing at what I do, like now I'm gonna treat everyone like shit because that's not what it's about. It's just about like you know, being well maybe being yourself, maybe they are like that, but you know. It's about being nice to people and like yeah. 